Hi, my name is Lou Ann Welsh and I'm the director of a new modern event center called Lex 530, located in Elkhart, Indiana. I have over 20 years experience planning parties, working with brides, catering, and even teaching hospitality classes at our local culinary school. On Weddings with Lou Ann, I would like to share my experiences and expertise with you to help you plan your wedding day. One of the very first things you need to address after you are engaged is the guest list. You need to have a very good idea of how many people you intend to invite so that you know how large your reception venue and church need to be. This can be a tough subject. Who gets to invite people to the wedding? The easy answer is the bride and groom, but what about the other people helping to pay for the wedding? Have you discussed with your parents who they want to invite? You need to call a meeting as soon as possible of all important players so that you can get a good solid estimate of how many people you're expecting. As you firm up your budget, look at venues and price caterers, it will become more clear if you can add or if you must cut the guest list. So let's address when you have to cut the guest list. This can be extremely difficult conversation to have with your parents and your fiance's parents because they all have people they want to invite. You have people you need to invite, but whose people are most important? Here's a list of things to keep in mind when you are attempting to whittle your guest list down. Number one, think of your budget. Weddings are trending smaller in 2019 and beyond. Why? Because it's about quality and not quantity. You want to invite guests who are thrilled to receive your invitation and can't wait for the big day. Do you really want to spend $35, $50, or $75 for a person to attend your wedding who grumbles, not another wedding, when they receive your invitation in the mail? Number two, what is your vision of your wedding day? Chances are you want to cherish the time spent with your loved ones, friends, and family. The more people you have at the reception, the less time you have to spend with each person. One of the top nine important things to a wedding guest, according to Insider, is to get to talk to the couple. Having the time to talk to every person should be a priority. These people were important enough to invite and you should be able to thank them in person that night. Another trend for 2019 is to invite fewer guests but spend more per person. So think upgraded bar and maybe an end of the night taco truck. I bet it is no surprise to you that the most important thing to guests is to have an open bar. And the second most important is the food. Not so much what the food is, but that they will receive food in a timely manner and actually get any if they go to the buffet last. Number four, another tough point for many couples is whether or not to include children. Some people will be offended if you exclude children. Some people will be annoyed if they're there. There are many ways to handle kids. One way is on-site child care, where you pay teenagers and they are assigned the task of keeping the children engaged with activities that you have provided, oftentimes at their own special tables. Sometimes arrangements are made for a sleepover, off-site. Children of guests go to one house with a paid caregiver to watch movies, play games, eat pizza, while mom and dad get a well-deserved date. When my husband and I first started our catering business, my first wedding was my younger brother's. My oldest daughter was four at the time, and she was in the wedding. I was the owner of the venue. I had to work the wedding. I could not take care of two children. So I had my mother-in-law invited as a guest. She sat with my parents and was in charge of my children during dinner, the pictures, and the ceremonial dances. Then she took them home and put them to bed. They were much happier children the next day for having slept. Number five, consider how close you are with the guests. If you are close to your first cousins, but your fiance has only seen hers twice in the past 15 years, maybe hers do not need an invitation. The guest list can create a lot of stress if numbers are tight. Be honest with all involved in creating the guest list. Realize that each person has people that are important to them to have on the guest list. Listen to each other and compromise when necessary. 
It is supposed to be a happy time. Approach all tough conversations with love and understanding and you'll be able to put together a guest list just right for you and your family. If you're currently looking for a venue and are interested in Lex 530, please contact me at luann at lex530.com. Thanks for watching and have a great day.